just before the Grammys, Miley Cyrus, and congratulations by the way, by the way, Miley Cyrus, for your extraordinary win on the song Flowers. Now I know it's been reissued since the Grammys, and you deserve all the success you really do. I've done my reaction to it. I'll attach it to this, but this threw up something that was unusual. You're in front of friends and colleagues, intimate gathering. It's all taking place. A lot of Miley's fans would know this video very well. And it's taken from the Chateau Marmont. And I just think instead of regurgitating a lot about the Grammys, what I'm gonna do is just keep it to this. I have a lot to say on this. And there is a lot that even Miley wants to say on this. As always, thank you Genius Lyrics for the lyrics itself. Check out that website for new artists and all their new music. They do great interviews on that channel. I'm not in that uh, fortunate position because I'm only a new channel and a new presenter. But about the song, it used to be young, looks back on her sometimes wild and crazy past, but not with regret as most would expect. Instead, the singer is celebrating the many lives She's lived as they made her into what she is today. Now, there is a wonderful podcast on YouTube that I've been following of Miley Cyrus. And what it is, is she sat down and my thumbnail will be dedicated to her images I caught. And I've created from this sit down interview talking about her past, her fame and tying it into the Montana character and almost what the media had said about certain things, dismissing it and giving the honest truth about the stages of her life. It's very, very interesting to sit down, almost interviewish, very relaxed she is, dressed in black, looking amazing. And I have to say, it's worth checking out. But we go back to this because it is celebrating the many lives. And in in that podcast, what I'm talking about is Miley is talking about those many lives. So I thought I would play this in homage to what I've been watching on YouTube about her recently. Now, much like the promotion of the first single from Endless Summification and Flowers, Cyrus started teasing used to be young with cryptic posters in various cities around the world with iconic verses from previous singles on August the 14th. And that was last year, I would take it. The following day, all of her YouTube thumbnails were changed to black and white with the phrase used to be young in them. Then on August the 17th, last year, 23, the singer announced a single on her social media along with the release of her special Endless Summer Vacation continued backyard sessions she says in celebration of my new single release endless summer vacation backyard sessions continues on august 24th and that was on abc i'm sure you can get it on youtube if you want to check it out this time with a respective interview sharing stories about the first 30 years of my life in honor of you youtube by this song is dedicated to my loyal fans i love you for loving every version of me always Miley now it also says on an excerpt of end of summer vacation continued backyard sessions spite Miley mentioned that the date had a special meaning to her I decided to release used to be young on August the 25th because this particular date historically has been important to me personally and in my career on the same day in 2013 the singer released wrecking ball as the second single from her fourth studio album at the time, Bangers. And later that day, her controversial VMA performance of Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines took place alongside the singer. Now, about the song. She says, these lyrics were written almost, and now this was last year when she said this, in 23, almost two years ago at the beginning of my endless summer vacation. It was at a time I felt misunderstood. I've spent the last 18 months painting a sonic picture of my perspective to share with you. The time has arrived to release a song that I could perf perfect forever. Although my work is done, this song will continue to write itself every day. The fact it remains unfinished is part of its beauty. That is my life at this moment, unfinished yet complete. Sincerely, Miley. With that, I'll come back with the lyrics and we'll delve into 
what more she has because she's many layers this singer what other layers i can expose for you through the lyrics and give you my interpretation in a storytelling fashion your old self and i encourage all of your current selves to sing along if you know the words and if you don't get out <laughs> Truth is bulletproof, there's no fun in you. I don't dress the same. Me and two, you say I was yesterday, I've gone a separate ways. I live my living past somewhere in the past, cause that's for chasing cars. It turns out open bars, the two broken hearts, and going way too far. I say I used to be young You tell me time is not changing That's fine I'm doing pretty good <laughs> I live go crazy That's cause I used to be young Take one, pour it out It's not worth crying about The things you can't erase Tattoos and regrets, words I never meant, and the ones that got away. I lived my living fast somewhere in the past and took another road. It turns out crowded rooms, empty out of soon, there's somewhere else to go. But God was it fun I know I used to be wild That's good gets to me every single time it really does if you hear any drilling sounds it's just because we have a lot of work going on outside and inside this building of ours and a lot of renovation works and I do my best to try and take it out of the video but let's get back to that absolute killing song absolutely brilliant used to be young does explore the process of growing up by Miley involving reflecting of her past and the song as you've heard sing, you know it, it she's singing about changes and the experiences that come with making that change in that transitional period uh, period from the hannah montana character we all associated with to this mature blossoming like the F grammy women winning song called flower she's blossomed into this rose in the music industry she really has and even the lines 
I used to be wild and crazy, um, but I had fun, I was young. All those words just resonate with me because we've all been young, we've all been wild, we've all had fun. Or you're going through that stage, but it's a stage we need to have to reflect, to smile, to laugh about your old self and look back and go, I had a good time there. I've got many of those. In the first verse, and we'll go to the lyrics themselves because I want to go off to the lyrics. It says, the truth is bulletproof. There's no fooling you. I don't dress the same. Me and you say I was yesterday, have gone our separate ways, left my living fast somewhere in the past because that's for chasing cars. Turns out, sorry, turns out open bars led to broken hearts and going way too far. Yep, when drink talks and you walk, you wake up the following day and you walk with a heavy heart because you think, I shouldn't have done, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. And the chorus says, I know I, know I used to be crazy. I know you used to be fun. You say, I used to be wild. I say, I used to be young. You tell me time has done changed me. That's fine. I've had a good run. I know I used to be crazy because I used to be young. Now, in respect of, of that, Miley acknowledges that the person she was in the past is no longer present. She's changed her appearance and separated herself from her previous self. Hence why I told you on YouTube, she sat down and she's gone through that and it's worth checking that out. And the truth she realizes is undeniable. She's done what she's done. She's been what she's been. She's become what she's become, but with no regrets. And it cannot be hidden. It's out there in the public and social media. You can search for it on Google. She can never hide what she used to be. And this could potentially refer to her public in image and persona as regards. We always take out the bad elements, but we never really give her credit for the good elements. But the pre-chorus that I've just read out illustrates that transition from a reckless lifestyle to a more mature one. And Miley left her fast-paced life behind. She has, and realizing that chasing immediate gratification and indulgence led to heartbreak. We've seen that with many relationships. She's openly bisexual, both with women and men. It's led to that gratification. I'll just do what I want and go into this relationship. And it's led to her heartbreaks that she'd written about. The open bar symbolized the temptations and excess of her youth. Now the chorus highlights that contrast between Miley's past and present self. She acknowledges her former wild and crazy ways, but also affirms it was a result of her youth. And look, when I was young and my youth, I went through a crazy phase, phase I should say. I was openly bisexual, but then I met the most wonderful man and realized my love fell into one side of that bisexuality and for me I've chosen that path to continue after 17 years of wondrous happiness I've continued that path with him and I've never looked back it's not to say if we broke up in the future I would sway back to a woman I probably would but that's me and she accepts that she's grown older and that her priorities have shifted because if we go into verse 2 and I'm sorry about the drilling again Take one, pour it out, it's not worth crying about. The things you can't erase, like tattoos and regrets and words I never meant that got away. Left my living fast somewhere in the past, she says, and took another road. Turns out crowded rooms empty out as soon. There's somewhere else to go. And then she goes back into the chorus, I used to be crazy, fun, the wild, the young. I, That's fine, I had a good run. And that cause I used to be young. And then she goes into the bridge. It's almost like a mental anxiety in her head. When she hits that note and she hits the top note and she's woo and wang. And that's just like, oh, not a frustration, but, oh, I wouldn't even call it a frustration. I call it something that she just needs to release to calm down again. Because when she thinks about it, she gets all... And then when she lets it out, it just, she mellows. 
because that second verse I've just explained to you, that's exploring the themes of reflection and accepting the past and those mistakes. Miley encouraged herself to let go of the regret, acknowledging that some things like those tattoos we talked about and spoken words cannot be erased. They can't. They're for life. She admits to saying things she didn't mean. I'm missing out on opportunities that slipped away and probably one or two relationships come into that. The bridge and post-chorus emphasise the nostalgic, bittersweet nature of reminiscing about the past. That's when she hits the note and she goes, oh. And Miley recognises that the crazy and wildfires, wild times, well, she probably was on fire, um, had been messy and regrettable. But they were also filled with a sense of freedom. Of course it was. And excitement that belonged to her youth, because that's what it was about. Youth is about experiments, Use, experimenting in life, experimenting with people, situations, your sexuality, finding whom you truly are. And she cherishes those memories, and good for her, and acknowledges that they played a significant role in shaping who she's become today. Overall, this song to me is the evolution of Miley Cyrus. It's as simple as that, as a person, an artist, recognising changes that come from growing up, and the importance of embracing one's past. Always embrace your past. Never live in regret about what you've done. Move on, learn from it, as they say. My parents used to say that, learn from your past to, to create that future without making those same mistakes. It's part of life. It's a song that acknowledges that particular journey that you, me, and Miley has sung about. Into adulthood, and some of us, Adulthood hits us in the 50s, mine did, because that youthful boy trapped, wanting to do, time's running out, got to do this and that, never went away for me until recently, and now I'm much calmer. And it's a mixture of that nostalgia that you're left with, the acceptance and gratitude for the transformative power of time that gets you to the place that you want to get to eventually and you do get there so that's what it's about and i hope you've enjoyed oh that beautiful live version of that song until next time take care